all right what's going on everybody it's your boy crypto wolf again and today i'm going to be doing uh I like they're calling this self-improvement sunday because I, I let me know if you don't like this stuff or if you want more of it honestly it you know it's bear market we got some time time to work on ourselves we're going to make ourselves better so that's what it is this one get your shit together part one three goals so uh basically it sounds easy. It sounds simple. Oh, just three goals or whatever. Honestly, it's going to be hard. It's going to suck. But at the end of the day, like it is not making your life better, making yourself better. And all the experiences that come along with it. Is that not worth a little bit of hard work, a little bit of extra effort? I would think so. But basically, it's three aspects more than it is like three simple goals. All that like, you know, three simple tricks to pick up girls or three simple tricks to make a million dollars it's it's a bunch of bullshit i mean flat out like anything in life that comes too easy isn't worth keeping and it probably won't stay anyways so generally speaking you know you got to put in the effort earn it and you will also respect it that much more and respect yourself but real quick just looking at the charts because you know there's a crypto channel we're looking you know we've been coming down a little bit since the market reopened today over here on the one hour you know, money flow broke, broke down into the red. Momentum way down, so we'll see uh, you know, how much further it may go. But, you know, importantly, we were really split on the RSIs right here. Right up until about now, actually. It looks like we may potentially be coming back together. If that's the case, could be in for a pretty red Monday. We'll check back here at the end of the video but i went above and beyond for you guys on this one i put together a powerpoint just just so i wasn't sitting here talking with the chart flickering in the background so let's get into it get your shit together three goals to actually improve yourself start acting and being an alpha wolf and i know the whole thing with the the alpha and you know people talking sigma and this and that and whatever just have a goal just try to be the best that you can be Try to be a badass. Let's go. So, three main aspects to change in your life. One, change your influences, which would be like your inputs. Two, change your habits, which is your essentially your outputs. And three, changing your environment. So, number one, changing influences. First off, you know, my godmother used to say this growing up. I mean, she still says it, but my, my whole life, basically, she used to say garbage in, garbage out. And, you know, if you're putting nothing but garbage into yourself, that is going to mold and affect the person you become, the way you think, the way you talk, the way you act. So, you know, if if all you ever watch is just garbage reality TV, you're probably going to be nothing but a drama queen. Just saying. Uh, who are you listening to or watching? You know, are you are you watching anybody who is trying to teach you how to be better? You know, if you're watching this or other crypto channels, maybe you're you're trying to get better financially. Maybe you're watching some fitness channels, trying to learn how to do some workouts, or are you just you know watching a bunch of nonsense, reality TV, watching MTV? TMZ, whatever it might be. Oh man, that was way too many <laughs> rhymes. But that was totally unintentional, I promise. But you know, it just it, we spend so much time, especially nowadays with smartphones, you know, watching YouTube, watching TV, watching movies, streaming, Netflix, the whole nine yards. So what are you spending your precious time here on this earth ingesting? You know, what is your brain soaking up? The next one, negativity. Specifically with influences, this one will drag you down like, you know, concrete galoshes, as they used to say. But, you know, if you're constantly watching negatives, if you're watching CNN all day, I can't imagine what your, your mentality has to be like at this point. You know, if you are especially with news and things like that like they say you know tragedy sells and they're constantly trying to keep hyping up negative things to keep people in this fearful state this suggestive state and it can also go for 
just a lot of stuff just the petty drama stuff especially whether it be youtube or uh, tons of tv shows are you watching murder mysteries all day and all you're seeing is just people getting killed wives cutting up their husbands and things like that i mean be conscious of whether the stuff that you are watching or listening to it just giving you negative vibes or is it giving you positive is it building you up or is it just rotting out your brain actively seeking improvement again are you doing anything to to actively learn more to actively better yourself seriously are you you know watching any motivational stuff or not even necessarily specifically motivational but you know in my case i like a lot of military history and things like that and i guarantee you you know you go reading the uh gates of fire or learning about the spartans or you know roman legionnaires or even our own you know sf guys in afghanistan or iraq you you are going to be motivated especially you know there's a, a show on youtube called the sean ryan show dude does interviews kind of started out you know he was a former uh navy seal and cia contractor started out with you know military people and still does from time to time but lately he's been branching out into just people with interesting crazy stories and especially in that genre when you're dealing with people doing sorry to say it but heroic shit you know you hear that and it's like man like i haven't done anything like that like i need to step my game up but uh, also on the, you know, the improvement thing, you know, the big thing nowadays and the one that I've been harping on a lot lately is like male improvement. And I'm not talking about dick pills. I'm talking about, you know, your mindset, your belief system, your values, especially in these days where establishment culture is doing everything it can to beat down and suppress natural male instincts. And uh, frankly, it's it's not just destroying the country. It's destroying the whole damn world. I mean, you look at Europe, it's ridiculous. I, they, I won't get into it. Try not to get political, but motivation. There are tons of channels and videos and shorts, and I don't use TikTok, but I'm sure it's on there too, with motivational speeches, or again, like I was talking about, just listening to people's personal stories, whether it's military or not you know, successful people, even business people, you know, there, there's plenty of people out there that are kind of giving back a little bit, you know, for free. And I, I somehow I randomly came across some of these like motivational shorts and it's just one minute clips of people. You know, sometimes it's interviews with famous people. Sometimes it's these motivational co coaches getting all pumped up, giving locker room speeches and stuff. And just, it gets you pumped up but social media so social media it, let me give an example one of the founders of facebook has just flat out said that it is rewiring people's brains and not for the better social media is changing the way entire generations communicate with each other the way we socialize and spending too much time on there for one, you have the, the issue with, you know, getting little dopamine hits with the like button and comments and this and that, and you end up training yourself to seek validation in that particular way. And if you are constantly doom scrolling social media, then you oftentimes are getting this perspective of the world that is not real at all, you know, especially Instagram and stuff. But we'll get into that here in a minute. And you also have legacy media and entertainment. Let's face it, a lot of it is propaganda. A lot of it is just messaging. Uh, subliminal left, right, up, down, and center. Just look at anything Disney does. And the news in particular is going to put your mind in a negative state. Like, I, aside from maybe, you know, haha, a couple little jokes here and there. Like, generally speaking... Watching the news is going to be depressing. So, breaking it down a little bit more. Let's bring them both in real quick. So, you know, what can you do? 
start watching self-improvement channels plenty of them out there and not saying that i'm even one but you know what if if this helps anybody because i'm basically i'm just doing this for myself at this point and i'm going to share it with you guys hopefully it helps somebody else too but this is this is kind of my plan i'm not saying i'm any kind of expert on this but i've been working on it for a little while now and i'm going to keep working on it and i suppose just by the fact that i have this channel i'll keep updating uh you guys a little bit with how it's going and just it helps me to be uh what's the word accountable if you will so that way it's like all right well i'm out here talking about it i better damn well do it and there you go so you know watch motivational videos you know watch creators that make you think about how you think and act you know, not necessarily somebody just preaching at you, but at the same time, try, you know, a lot of times you'll hear them talking and be like, oh, damn, yeah, like I've been doing that forever, or oh, that's something I've always had a problem with, like, and you're just hanging on every word, like, what the hell do I do differently? Thank you. Um, you know, get away from doomers, spit out the black pills, you know, all the negativity. You know, it's one thing to keep up with the news a little bit, but at the same time, Try to keep it down to a minimum. You know, there's, there's a lot of people out there that are just toxic. And I'm not talking about toxic masculinity. I'm talking about people that, like, it's just constantly the end of the world. Or it's just every offended by everything. And we'll, we'll get to that here in a second. But just try to keep the negativity away from you. It's not going to help. It is going to make things even harder. <clears throat> and it will rub off on you. Uh, stay away from mainstream and establishment narratives. Like I said, it's pretty much all propaganda. It is all there for a reason, even if it is something as simple as trying to sell products to you or trying to make you think that you need some kind of product. Yeah, other than that, they are trying to sway your opinion. And there goes the wolf. Trying to sway your opinion, trying to get you to vote a certain way, get you to support a certain party, get you to be afraid of something, whatever it might be, get you on board with a new war, you know, whatever the current thing is, get you to support that. So just be very mindful of that. Thankfully, a lot of people that I see, especially in this community, and I'm starting to see a lot of overlap between various communities whether it's some of the self-help some of the crypto some of the political and all that stuff it's kind of starting to merge together a little bit more and a lot of us all share pretty much the same perspectives and uh values and things like that so it's 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 getting pretty cool i think we're going to see some collaboration here over the next few years that i think will be pretty interesting and also, you know, and it helps people from each community to kind of learn and grow in different aspects. So just, you know, watch out. Don't don't watch CNN. Just flat out. CNN, NPR, Washington Post. Just not a 10-foot pole. Don't even get that close. But I'll leave it at that on that one. Don't bother with anything that costs money yet. And this one's really important, especially if you're starting out. You know, a lot of people, you know, they want to go to a conference or you're going to go listen, pay to hear some guy speak, or maybe you want some one-on-one -on -one coaching or counseling. Don't do that right off the bat. You know, there's plenty of free stuff out there, plenty to get you going, plenty to start you on that road. And if you still feel you want that extra help, that personalized help one-on-one, -on -one, you know that's perfectly fine that's that's all good that's gravy by all means um but starting out you know wait until you start seeing what you're having trouble with personally like specifically you know are you having trouble with procrastinating are you having trouble with you know the female situation having trouble making more money whatever it might be like start going on your own start trying different things start you know narrowing down the, the various options that you have and then when you go to get help you already know like okay these are my strong suits this is what i'm struggling with like i have trouble you know being assertive or whatever it might be and you'll get your money's worth more <clears throat> and just to be clear i have not done that yet don't know if i will or have to but 
you know, it's out there. And if I did, there's probably a couple people that I would legitimately maybe, you know, pay just to talk to. But eh, I don't know. <coughs> Excuse me. Self-help books can indeed be useful. I know there's kind of like a stigma when it comes to that. And, oh, I forgot the background music. My bad. I apologize, everybody. Um, oh, just sitting here in silence and everything. But self-help books can be useful. At this point, you know, I like audiobooks. I listen to them while I'm at work and things like that. And I've listened to at least half a dozen at this point. And it's interesting that certain ones help more at certain points in your life. Like there's a couple of them that I've actually listened to a couple times now, like years apart. And for instance, for instance, the last one that I did, uh, you are a badass. And then there's, you are a badass at making money. And like the first time I listened to those was like, right when I started getting like, all right, let me check out some of the self-help stuff. Like God knows I'm not where I want to be. And what the fuck it, like, if it helps me get there, helps me open my brain up a little bit all the better and so like back then i was like oh like you know mind blown like oh okay like cool that makes sense oh that's a good mentality to have you know you learn a little bit and then when i went back and you know listened to it i don't know a few months ago i'm thinking like yeah all right like i took that kind of ran with it you know I kind of adapted it to myself a little bit it's like i'm all right i'm right you know i'm ready for the next thing i need a little bit more and sometimes it's just the author you don't quite vibe with or can't really relate beyond some of the basics so uh you know don't get discouraged if you start one and you're like eh, i don't know i can't relate this is crap like don't just throw the entire thing away like and just say screw it i'm just gonna sit and stew in my sweaty undies watching tv on the couch like keep at it keep going to different people you know somebody's gonna click with you i guarantee it um don't bother with the gimmicks especially the you know three you know top 10 easy ways to make money online or like you know the three simple ways to pick up girls like if it sounds clickbaity and it sounds gimmicky just steer clear you could even you know give it a chance for a hot second half the time the, you know those are the people that are trying to make money off of you and there's nothing wrong with making money helping people but you know what i'm talking about some of them are just scammy spammy gimmicky whatever yeah stick to the people who do a lot of long form content that you can actually kind of judge where they're at where they're coming from what they're talking about do they really do it themselves and if you know if you start liking somebody at that point then be like all right you know that's cool dude i would appreciate like talking personally or something ignore the so-called shortcuts again like i was just saying listen to those who practice what they preach you know if it's somebody you're just catching in an ad on a youtube video or a little ad on an instagram scroll or something like that like i won't even do it like if it's not somebody that i've already heard and heard quite a bit from that I actually like, oh, okay, now I'm a subscriber, I'm a follow, and like keep up with videos for a little bit, and like, yeah, all right, all right, not in your head, like, I, I mean, that's what I'm talking about, that's my dude. <clears throat> like, if, if, if you don't have that, that feeling, that uh, interest, then, you know, what are you, what are you listening to him for, and you're damn, not, damn sure not going to give him money. Whoops. I can't use the mouse wheel stick with people you relate to so generally speaking if you're a man you're you're gonna want to spend more time listening to men if you're a woman you're probably gonna want to spend more time listening to female self-help people and coaches and influencers and stuff it's not to say that you can't go the other way around because it's a good idea to have the perspective of the opposite sex particularly if you're getting into like the dating aspect of things there's actually i just found this one chick today and i ended up like starting to listen to her little video or podcast and ended up being really really good like she was bringing up clips from other people that i watch oh yeah jedediah bila and it's on youtube and she's actually you know underneath the valuetainment brand if you will with uh you know ben david another good dude right there 
and it was really good like i was like oh my gosh like this this chick knows what's up like that's what i'm talking about but uh you know other than that i mainly listen to men um why is coinbase messaging me whatever Let's see. Oh, do not let someone else's success bring you down. And you might be wondering, what the hell am I talking about? Like, why why would somebody else being successful make me want to quit? Well, it, sadly, a lot of people, especially when they start getting into this, they start listening to people. They say, oh, damn, like that, that dude's got it going on. He's driving Lambos. He's traveling around the world or this and that. And then after a little bit, there's that natural little bit of jealousy that kind of starts building up in you know in the back of your head like man I, you know i want that stuff i wish i had that dude's life like man he's got a nice house and all this stuff and don't let it discourage you that you don't have that stuff don't let it throw you off your game that somebody else is where you want to be use it for motivation like you know use it as an example of all right that's what i want to shoot for dude's talking about how he got to that point you know take it for what it's worth but especially on things like instagram and everybody's and facebook people are posting pictures making it look like they have the the best life in the world they're jet setting around you get you know some of these influencers and celebrities posting pictures they got stacks of money or cars or this and that First off, you'd be amazed how much of that stuff is fake. Like, I, I like I don't get into the celebrity thing or anything, but I, even just a little while back, I randomly caught a video of like, you know, times where celebrities were basically faking the funk and like, you know, they'd get an Airbnb and act like they bought a $6 million mansion or they got the rental car from a music video shoot that they didn't even pay the, you know, for the rental, but acting like they're driving it around every day and yeah all that kind of stuff people literally uh, photoshopping themselves into travel pictures off of websites people do a reverse image search and they're like oh yeah no you weren't even there like that's a bunch of bs it's kind of crazy how much it happens so don't don't look at instagram and think like oh everybody's living the high life oh man i wish i could that's depressing like i'm still sitting here going to work or stuck at home or this or that no 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 don't worry about what other people are, have or what they're doing. You stay focused on what you're shooting for, what you know, what your goals are, and the fact that you are not going to give up until you get there. <clears throat> and last but not least, do not fucking get offended. Seriously, if you are listening to you know various people watching channels, podcasts, whatever it is, and they say something that hits you like, oh shit. Like, it gets you in the feels like, yep, that's exactly what I do. And even if they're calling you a name for doing it, whatever it might be, do not get offended. Like, if somebody says, oh, what you were doing, that's simping. Like, they're calling you a simp. Be like, damn, yeah, I was acting like a simp. I need to straighten the fuck up. Do not get offended. Don't just turn somebody off because they said something that you didn't like or it hurt your fifis. <clears throat> if if it offends you that is exactly what you need exactly what you needed to hear to change that thinking or that behavior so seriously Im imagine you know you're in boot camp you're in the army you need a drill sergeant screaming in your face telling you to stop messing up telling you what to do how to do it when to do it you know how high to jump it's like that for a reason you, it, it, like just being out here in a civilian world trying to do the self-help thing trying to improve yourself you know in most cases the quickest simplest you know most studied and developed way of changing people is to break down the old self well you're probably not going to do that on your own you know and if you are sitting there beating yourself up and calling yourself names and screaming at yourself inside your own head be careful at a certain point you know it may have detrimental effects but you know hearing somebody else call you out on your bs is exactly what you're looking for so don't just change the channel because you know they said something that got into your feelings 
So part two, changing habits. Number one, discipline. And let me let me back up here a second and just say that this topic right here, changing habits, is an absolutely gigantic one. And I'm going to be making videos for each of these aspects individually, and we'll get a little bit deeper into it in examples and get into some more specifics. But this one right here may even end up being like two videos. Because, I, I mean, let's, excuse me, let's face it, there is an entire industry around trying to change habits and behaviors but let's see what we can do real quick here so number one it's going to take discipline because just flat out that's the way it is something that you've been doing repeatedly for a long period of time is a habit in order to break that habit you need to not only do something else you need to keep doing it repeatedly over a period of time and that's going to take some discipline to make sure that you stick to it it's going to take some self-control because a lot of bad habits kind of become instinctual after a certain point. You know, whether it's it like lying or being lazy or not doing the dishes or, you know, not brushing your teeth, whatever it might be. Next one, goals and motivation. So specifically motivation, obviously it, it you have to have a reason to want to do it and you're going to have to remember that reason especially when you don't want to do it and so you're going to want to set goals but you're also going to want to set like small goals you know little achievements little victories and we'll get into that in a later video but positivity that's a big one again like we we're talking about before with the negativity it's going to drag you down it's going to take you off your path it's going to fuck up your race to your goals and staying positive is going to be a big one. And like it, to come back to like a military example, like if you're having to do like a 10 mile ruck march and you're slugging it out through the woods and you're going through the brush and you're miserable, your feet hurt, maybe it's starting to rain. Like the the more you just slide into that downward spiral of negativity is the more it's going to make you want to quit. So if you can find whatever reason, even if you feel like it makes you a psychopath to start laughing or joking or just look around or like it, whatever it might be, start telling stories in your head if you have to, whatever it takes to try to stay positive, do it. Tenacity. Again, not only are you going to have to try to do better, try to break bad habits, try to create better habits, but you're going to have to keep doing it. You know, it doesn't matter if you do it for a month and then stop. <clears throat> at that point, you know, you're, you're just choosing to be a loser at that point. You're saying, all right, well, I tried it for a month and you know, whatever. I'm good. I'm going to go back to the couch. No, you're going to have to keep going. Because even if you bust your ass for, a, a, let's say, a couple years and you start making some decent money and you're like, all right, and then you rest on your laurels. You know, maybe you'll stay at that level, but for the most part, people are going to notice if you're like, oh, what? why all oh, dude's slacking off all of a sudden like he was doing so good for a year and now he's just fucking it all up. So you're going to have to stick to it. Inner strength. Yes. Whether it is waking up earlier to work out or maybe just waking up and making your bed or getting up and taking a shower or going to the gym on your schedule, whatever it might be, there's going to come times where you don't want to do it, times where you want to quit, times where you feel like shit, times where you might be sick. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You got to find a reason, make an excuse to keep going, like remind yourself of the goals and the motivation. Even if you got to shut your own brain off and start playing some music and just go through the motions, do it. And creativity. And this one, I just kind of threw in there because I'm like, you know what? Like, sometimes you got to be a little bit creative if you want to break habits or create new habits. You know, especially when it comes to breaking old habits. Like, I'm not going to get into it too much, but let's say I have a lot of experience with having some really, really, really bad habits. And sometimes you got a little, get a little bit creative. Like, particularly in the case of, uh, you know, if you're dealing with, like, drugs or alcohol or something. And just saying, oh, we'll just quit. Yeah. 
okay, yeah, make it sound so fucking easy. Well, it's not. And sometimes you got to break it down into tiny little chunks. <clears throat> and in the case of, uh, you know, like going through withdrawal or something, you might have to break it down into 15 minute segments, 10 minute segments, one hour segments. And you got to get creative. You got to find something to do for that hour to get through, to take your mind off it, to whatever it might be. You know, if it's, if you're going on, you know, long uh, runs or jogs or marches or hikes or whatever it might be, in order to do that long hike or that long run or walk or whatever, you know, after like an hour or two, it might start seeming a little bit boring. You're going to have to be creative and come up with a way to keep your mind focused, keep your mind busy, to not get bored and just bow out, it just to not quit. So... Again, come back to that later on, but <clears throat> changing habits. So what are some habits that you should probably change? Constantly playing video games. And again, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with playing video games, especially if maybe that's how you make your living. Hey, more power to you. But if you are spending the valuable hours of your life glued to the TV with a controller in your hand, not accomplishing anything in life, that's a problem. And it is literally like you are spending your best years accomplishing what? Getting a high score? You know, schwacking some dudes on multiplayer? Nobody cares. Are you going to look back when you're 50 like, man, I was number one on so many Call of Duty matches. Like... Okay, so what? Does that improve your life? I mean, yeah, I get like it's fun to play and maybe it can be rewarding when you win a little bit. But, you know, when you go and put the game down and you're like, shit, like I wish I wasn't eating fucking ramen noodles. <laughs> you're going to be like, yeah, I wish I made some more money. Well, how are you going to do that? Well, you're going to have to put the controller down and do a little bit of work. Uh, solely consuming entertainment. Very similar to the constantly playing video games thing. If all you're doing is watching TV, if you're watching YouTube videos, specifically ones that aren't really helping you. But even if you are watching self-help ones, but you never actually put it into practice, that's not going to do anything for you either. But <clears throat> just cut down on the screen time and try to physically do something that is going to push you forward toward your goals. Taking the path of least resistance. This one is kind of an interesting one. And I remember hearing about it years ago from somebody. And the best example that they gave was if you walk into a building and you you come up, you got to go up to the 5th, 6th, 10th floor, whatever it might be. And you're standing there and you see the doors for the elevator and the doors for the stairwell. Which one would you pick right now? A lot of people would probably pick the elevator. That is the path of least resistance. And they're saying, if, if you really want to get better, if you really want to discipline yourself, you want to get healthier, you want to get in shape, you want to be, you know, the badass mofo that, let's face it, women are going to want to be attracted to, start taking the fucking stairs. Start jogging the stairs. You know, I get it. Maybe if you're going to a job interview, you don't want to get all sweaty on the way there, but it doesn't mean you can't you can walk them. I mean, depend, uh, depending maybe maybe that would get you all sweaty but you know what i'm saying like especially like when i go out hiking and i start out i'm coming from the parking lot right there there's the trailhead and i already know before i even start out because i i pick places strategically i know that there's probably some sort of off trail feature that i would rather see that's off the beaten path that nobody else is really on that has better scenery and so do I pick the trail or do I pick the creek? You know, do I pick the hills or do I pick the uh, the switchback trail going up it that takes 10 times longer that drives me nuts? But no, I'm only like I'm picking the creek. I'm going over the boulders and the rocks. I'm going along the, the edge of the lake, jumping from giant boulder to giant boulder, hoping not to fall and kill myself. But... <laughs> You know, not taking the easy road all the time. And it's a good idea to apply this aspect to various different, 
you know, aspects of life. Not just necessarily, you know, being outdoors or the stairs and the elevator thing. And the more you make it, damn, I forgot the damn audio again. The more you make it a habit of being like, no, nah, I'm going to go the hard way. Like, I'm going to take the hard route. The more you become acclimated to, you know, putting in the work, you know, whether it be like a business or something, or even, it, you know, at your job, you know, take the hard job take the tough one like they say uh you know when guys are going into like some special forces and stuff i've heard guys talk about you know there's like a thing where they say oh never volunteer for anything in the military but then when dudes are trying to get to that top level the one guy was lucky enough to have a mentor who was you know up there at the creme de la creme and he was like you know how do i do like how do i become the best how do i get to your guys's level and he's like, take every job, volunteer for everything. He's like, don't, don't worry about what these other dudes are doing. You know, saying not to volunteer. He's like, if they ask you who wants to clean the shitter, put your fucking hand up and hurry up and get there and grab the brush. And it's true. And, you know, it might suck sometimes. It might be, again, the harder road, but it'll make a man out of you. Sorry to be a little cliche, but procrastinating. God, this is one I've struggled with. For my entire damn life. I swear it's friggin' genetic because I hear stories about my dad used to do it too. But, oh, good Lord. Yeah, that one I am very much still in the process of working on. But, you know, they say don't put off for tomorrow what you can do today. Uh, Self-explanatory. You know, quit being lazy and just fucking do it. Same applies to me. I tell myself that all the time. I'm definitely getting better at it. And that is a big one. And it pretty much ties in with you know being responsible and yeah being responsible that's enough making excuses this one kind of drives me nuts and it's funny because when i was younger i was i was all over making excuses all right like oh why didn't you do this well you know i was doing this or something something happened i was waiting for this and nah fuck that that's an excuse and god knows especially you know watching the world today excuses up down left right and center it's completely ridiculous you know no accountability no responsibility you know if you fuck up you fuck up that's cool be honest just say like oh you know what yeah i forgot or like oh you know i i did it wrong it's my fault show me how to do it right or you know own up to it take ownership especially when you make a mistake or something or especially if you just do something wrong or you forget it's not that hard it's really not and most people will respect you more for being straight up and honest about it and you know part of the little trick to that is don't just say oh i forgot and be like okay i forgot but you know what i'm gonna try to do better i'm I'm making a note in my phone right now like take that little extra step to show that you are trying to not repeat whatever it may be drinking too much in drugs this one can kind of be unpopular, but I'm specifically talking about like if you're drinking socially or something like that, like when you go out or at parties or, you know, watching a football game or something like that, whatever, you know, I'm not going to tell, I'm not your daddy. I'm not going to tell you what you do, but if you're drinking like an alcoholic and you know, you're fucking drinking like an alcoholic, if you're drinking all day, every day, you know, what, you're killing yourself and you're, you're fucking up every other aspect of life, whether you think so or not, you are so tough shit, deal with it. If you're doing drugs, same thing. Now, I know there's plenty of debate and people want to debate about smoking weed and this and that. And believe me, I did for plenty of years. Plenty of years. I really don't that much anymore. It's probably so few and far between, I can't even remember the last time. But, again, it's it's not that I would, like, specifically not do it. It's just I don't care. I don't really need it. It slows my brain down. And I'm doing too much. I'm working toward goals. I'm trying to do all this shit. Like, I I don't need to slow down and chill. I need more time in the day. That's what I need. But, again, especially if you're getting into other stuff, you know, harder drugs, pills, you know, the, you know, the big ones, um, you got to quit. You got that should be your first, literally your first and most important goal, because odds are it is either going to kill you quick or it is slowly killing you more and more and more every single day and all the any other ambition you may have doesn't mean shit if you can't kick it 
that, that that's it i mean you know oh you're trying to do financially better well if you're constantly dropping money on drugs every single day all day feeding your addiction it doesn't matter you're gonna blow it anyways and if you do get more money you're probably just gonna kill yourself you're gonna do too much seen it plenty of times damn near did it myself but moving on food habits and quality this one's fairly straightforward are you eating too much are you eating too little for that matter and what is the quality of food you're eating you know garbage in garbage out same thing goes for food if all you're eating is fast food no wonder you feel like crap hygiene and cleanliness whoops let me go back here hygiene and cleanliness again this is not only accountability responsibility but a, a sense of personal pride you know are you taking care of yourself are you showering every single day are you brushing your teeth every single day like uh jordan peterson said are you making your bed and it's just a little step it, it's that first little victory in the morning where you say okay i got up i did something productive i'm not living like a slob the bed looks nice it doesn't have to be you know hotel quality bed making you literally just pull the comforter back over make sure it's a little bit straight no wrinkles good to go move on but you know are you washing your clothes are you wearing the same underwear for multiple days in a row shit like that exercise again pretty self-explanatory you know if you work out you get stronger you release endorphins you feel better you're more motivated you look better you see you see that you look better you have more pride in it fuels you know more motivation to keep doing better things i'll leave it at that for now porn got yeah, fellas <clears throat> and some of the ladies out there it, it, this is a big one lately that i keep hearing about you know a lot of people saying you need you know completely drop it other people oh you know like once in a while like whatever i don't know i don't have the answer all i know is if you're constantly watching it every single day I, i'm betting it is not good for you Maybe I'll, I'll do some more research before I do the next video. Maybe we'll dig into it a little bit more. But for the time being, just know that it's a thing. Doom scrolling social media. I already talked about it a little bit. It, it, odds are you are either fucking up your brain chemistry and circuitry just on the way that you socialize, interact, take the dopamine hits and all that stuff. You're also wasting a shitload of time by spending hours scrolling through social media. And, you know likely dropping little comments here and there that eh, whatever okay oh you look hot eh, she didn't care she didn't read it um <laughs> just yeah it, chill out on it you know it's one thing you know post a little bit maybe keep up with the family you know once in a while what's up with your friends and this and that but right now when you are especially starting out and you're trying to improve yourself honestly set it aside for a time perpetually chasing women this one also first off and the best will tell you you shouldn't chase women at all you know it's one thing to pursue a woman or to pursue a relationship but if you are constantly everywhere you go it's you're you're, you're there uh you know trying to get women trying to get chicks trying to get numbers trying to get laid everywhere you go it's all you think about every time you see a girl you know what they are ruling your life like, they are literally occupying your brain to an unhealthy degree. Like, focus on yourself for a little bit. <clears throat> what to do? Turn off the TV. Seriously. Like, I literally watch one show for 40 minutes. Not even necessarily every day. Or a weekday. But that's it. That's all, that's all I watch on TV. And that's only while I'm eating. Like... For real, TV, the TV is going to rot your brain. They used to say it back in the day, and now we know that it's actually true. So let's just keep it 100 here. Take a social media sabbatical. Again, especially when you're starting out and you're working on yourself, don't worry about what other people are doing. Focus on you. Start an exercise regimen. Straightforward. Make a commitment. Investment in yourself. That might be something like put your money up. You know, you say you want to do this. You say you want to get better. You say you want to get in shape. All right make a commitment put some money up go get a gym membership um buy a freaking self-help book you know buy some uh, some workout gear for the house 
whatever it might be buy some nicer clothes you say you want to upscale a little bit make you know make some sort of commitment you know if you're if you're not putting anything on the line you'll be more likely to quit start making better food choices pretty straightforward digging in another video on that one make your damn bed and keep the sink clear like i talked about with the bed but also don't let dishes pile up you know it, when you're starting to take pride in yourself take pride in your environment your kingdom your domain your castle don't let it look like shit keep it clean keep it tidy keep it organized uh, take the hard road talked about that one start being more responsible D damn near a video all in its own um, but seriously pay your bills on time you know be punctual get to work on time get to work early make sure you keep gas in the tank don't keep constantly running it down to empty get your oil changed you know in a reasonable amount of time or mileage you know most cars nowadays have that oil life percentage and stuff <coughs> when it starts warning you about it don't wait another two months again all these little things just add up you know it seems like little things some a lot of it sounds like common sense it is but just fucking do it it's crazy how many people just don't or they procrastinate or just you get it take pride in your work especially you know if you're working a job or or if you're on here trading whatever it might be you know don't just half-ass stuff yeah I, i've seen so many people like at jobs that you know they start working on something and then they they walk away to do something else and they leave a giant mess or they leave a mess on the floor or they start putting stuff together and they don't give a shit how it looks like i do a lot of wiring and electronics and stuff at work i've literally made like fucking modern art masterpieces out of my wiring to where like you look at it and you're like oh my god like that is some crazy ass attention to detail like even in a previous job like i won't get into it but you know i take pride in the way it looks especially if it's going to a customer customer is going to see it i want them to be like oh damn like yeah there's some professional motherfuckers that built this thing oh. spruce up your appearance and stay fresh so fresh and so clean yeah I, I, you know take pride in yourself make sure your, your hair is cut you know don't let it get all nasty keep yourself clean you know i i get i already had you know issues with like my teeth being not the greatest so you know at, at this point it's a pain in the ass to try to play catch up and you know try to make them whiter and yeah, this and that like it, it already runs in the family a little bit to where like the teeth aren't that great but then you add all the absolute crazy lifestyle that i used to live that didn't help eating fucking candy like every damn day that didn't help so it, keep up with it because it, it was some of that stuff is just flat out you'll regret it later on but at the same time you know if you're talking about you want to be around successful people or you you want to be attractive to women or whatever it might be you're not going to get it looking like the homeless do walking down the corner flat out um <laughs> and put the sock in the lube down i'm gonna leave that one alone but you know what i'm talking about although i never really did understand why people use socks but man whatever number three change your environment this one can be kind of tough and it's not going to take very long the video is almost over so bear with me a little bit here so the people around you the places you go the way you dress your location in general and even like your standard of living you know the, your furniture whether you keep your house clean that kind of thing that is your environment and you know networking you know where are you going who are you trying to meet what business relationships are you forming? And again, you know, are you around positive individuals, positive places? You know, are you in places where people are just trying to get you to constantly do drugs or spend money or take advantage of you? Breaking it down a little bit here. Do the people around you pump you up or do they pull you down? That is probably like I could just end the video on that one alone. It pretty much describes what you should be thinking about your environment. 
you know like are, are the people that you keep around you are they do they want to see you succeed are they getting you pumped up if you go out to a club you're trying to pick up some girls or something like that you know are they are they getting y'all gassed up like all right yeah like oh dude yeah go get her go get her like hell yeah you got this or are the people around you like constantly leeching off of your soul and your energy you know are they themselves successful are you surrounding yourself with successful people because if you're surrounding yourself with unsuccessful people you know they're not going to boost you up anywhere you know they're not at a level above you willing to reach down and pull you up there with them odds are they're going to be trying to pull you down because misery loves company are the people around you motivated you know if if you're like oh man like i'm trying to go out tonight like see what's going on try to meet somebody are they eh, i don't i don't feel like going out i think i'm just gonna chill at home i'm just gonna watch a movie or like oh dude you know they got like a a fucking convention of something going on like i'm gonna go there and try to meet some people try to you know get things going and like, eh, no i don't know that sounds kind of boring or stupid like you know do they have any motivation to do better themselves and if you are around people who are motivated you're going to feed off of each other feed off of that energy and just keep pushing each other just that little bit further can you learn from the people around you you know are you going around people who are smarter wiser or more experienced than you and if you are you damn well better be picking their brain you better be asking them questions like you know if you're around successful people how did like how did you get to this point like how did you start a business like what was the most important lesson that you learned going through that process things like that you know or it could just be how do i do this like sp specifically this like with the trading thing like all right how do i do how, what's a good way to enter trades what trades am i looking for you know what do i need to look out for when should i be exiting should i take profits um, you know this that and the other are they specifically this one applies to friends are they a wingman or a competitor especially for guys too but if you're going out with somebody are they i heard this example the other day and it was really good if you go out with a dude and let's say you go out to dinner and maybe you know you have a date with a girl so oh, i want to bring a friend so you're like all right I, you know i'll bring a friend so that it's an even number and you go out and you you sit down or maybe you just meet them and you invite them over to the table or something but you say okay you know i'm gonna go to the bathroom and you can plan this out ahead of time and so as they're sitting there at the table you know the two girls and your dude and your dude's like damn like you know who you just picked up like oh that's that's so and so like yeah dude's legit like like uh, you, you better hold on to that one and then you come back from the table uh, them girls are gonna be sitting there like like damn like all right what's so special about this dude and they're gonna pay a little bit more attention they might try a little bit harder little stuff like that i mean that's a wingman right there or you know even somebody like if you go over and you're like all right she's got like one or two friends with her you want to talk to this one but you know how it is like if you approach a girl who's with friends you can't do it alone because the friends are going to gang up on you and give you the boot but if you got friends with you that could kind of like all right, all right you know distract them a little bit for me while i try to get up in here <clears throat> or is that friend a competitor like if if you both see a girl out somewhere and you're like damn like uh, i'm gonna try to get her number and your dude's like no nah, dude i'm gonna get her number like psh, like watch this like I, i'll race you like some dumb shit like that like that that's not the type of person you need to be going out with and that same thing is going to apply in like a business situation too so kind of leads into the next one do they have your back are they trustworthy a whole lot of places we could go with this one i won't get into but we'll just leave it at self-explanatory for now and is there an exchange of value you know are you bringing something to the table are they bringing something to the table if it's a business relationship you know what value are you bringing to the business as well as the people that you are inviting into that business maybe partnering with whatever it might be what are, you know are they bringing value or are you just like oh that's my dude i've known him since grade school like you know i'm doing this thing i gotta give him a job or something but you know it does he know what he's doing is he motivated does he care is he improving himself to try to be a better employee or partner things you got to think about <clears throat> and do you go places where successful people go speaking about you know physical environment 
I'll just leave that one. That one's fairly self-explanatory. Are you going to, you know, the dive bar or are you going to the upscale place? Like, where are you expecting to meet people that would be successful or that would be good to network with or whatever it might be? Are you shopping at Walmart? Are you shopping at Nordstrom's or Men's Warehouse or, you know, people are going to notice, you know, you try going to an upscale place, you know, and if you're wearing a jacket that costs you 25 bucks from Goodwill, they're probably going to notice that shit and they're going to know like, all right, this dude doesn't quite belong here. Where at the same time, like at least, you know, you don't have to go out and get an Armani coat or anything like that. You know, at least keep it, at least keep it to where, all right, you know, you still look a little fresh and stuff. It's not all wrinkled up or anything. And be like, all right, this dude's trying. This dude's hungry. Like, let's see what's up with this guy. Maybe we give him a chance. Uh, are you going to business centric events? You know, whether it be, uh, I don't know, like a convention or a trade show or a get together, a meetup, whatever. Uh, are you going around the corner or are you going downtown? You know, are you going to the hole in the wall spot down the street <clears throat> expecting to meet high class people? Or are you going to go where the high class people generally go? I mean, let's be realistic about it. Yeah, and it might cost a little bit more. And that's kind of the biggest downside to the environment thing is you're going to have to decide what it's worth because you, you don't want to be wasting money you don't want to go someplace where you're going to pay four times as much for a drink and sit there trying to talk to people but at the same time you know if you're going to the hole in the wall hole in the wall spot and you're buying eight drinks you know when you're going to try to meet people specifically for like business purposes or you know even just some friends who are successful or something you're not going there to get drunk so you could get by off of two maybe three drinks over the course of the night and maybe pay the same amount as if you went to the place around the corner and got smashed so keep that in mind um other places you know hit the gym or the martial arts studio not that you might necessarily meet successful people there but at the same time again self-improvement and you never know might meet a nice little lady there happens um other than that, just the people in groups that you talk to online. Like, are you getting on forums or whatever might be Reddit pages or Twitter conversations with the type of people that you want to be like? And, you know, don't be a stalker. Don't be a fanboy. But it's okay to ask people questions. And from time to time, they might give you a good answer that, oh, damn, all right, that helped a little bit. And you never know, maybe they're coming through your town or something like that. Like, hey, dude, I'd like to buy you a drink and just pick your brain a little bit. They might be like, all right, hey, I'm going to be at such and such uh, probably by, you know, 10 o'clock or something like that. And boom, that's an in. Jump on that. <coughs> and granted, you know, a lot of this stuff is stuff that I'm working on, too, especially the environment thing especially after I changed environments and moved across the damn country. And then we had all the COVID stuff. So I'm getting back on this one. And I finally got things lined up a little bit better to where I'm able to do this. So I'm going to be doing it right there with you. But I hope this was a little bit helpful. I know it's a longer video, 58 minutes, running out the clock. But we'll be talking more about it because, again, I'm trying to better myself. I hope you're trying to do the same thing. Over here on the chart, looks like yeah, taking a little break from the dip. Money flow still going down. RSI's, yeah, you know, a little bounce back up. We'll see if it stays. You know, VWAP did cross back up. I'd say we'll probably get a little, little bump to the upside. Might even come back to the spider line. So that's what's going on for the moment. Just to dig in a little longer on the daily. Yikes, pandemonium. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it looks like taking a little red candle right there. VWAP about to cross back to the negative. RSI still generally trending up. And I was kind of looking at this earlier a little bit. So between the daily and a couple other charts, it does seem like, you know, maybe we'll continue to, you know, bounce our way up for a little bit. Strong possibility, you know, money flow is still coming up in the green. RSI is still overall trending upward. We haven't really peaked out on the momentum waves yet. So there's a good chance that we could continue an uptrend a little bit. Like, But you come over here to the four hour and in the meantime, it seems like 
yeah, we might have some more downside to go for now. So we'll see, because between that four hour and the one hour, I'd say it's it's a big decision between this spider line and this support level. So we'll see what happens tomorrow. It's Monday, it's a new week. But let me know what you thought, if by any chance you're still watching. Otherwise, it's one hour. I'm cutting it. Everybody have a fantastic beginning of the week. Love you, and keep improving. Keep being a badass. Later.